Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've mentioned ping.fm before as a wonderful tool to keep your friends up to date with what you're doing. I mean, you may use Twitter, uh, you may use MySpace, you may use Facebook, you may use FriendFeed, you may use Friendster, you may use all of these services. And the last thing you want to do is update your status, if, especially if it's the same status, on each one of those networks. So Ping FM uh, lets you use their service to update your status, and then they essentially sneeze it out to the services that Ping FM supports. It's great. It's awesome. I love it. It's wonderful. I can't live without it. So that's fine for text status updates, but what about digital photos? Where do you upload your photos primarily or maybe secondarily and tertiarily and quadrilarily and quintilarily? Anyway, what happens when you want to upload the same digital photo to a variety of websites? Say you want to upload it to Flickr and then your Picasa web albums, which of course is now Google. You want to upload it to Friendster. You want to upload it to, and the list kind of goes on and on and on. Well, either you can log into these separate sites and upload those photos independently or use whatever mechanisms they make available to you to upload the photos or you can use a service that I learned out about today uh, by way of Flickr mail and I don't know this person personally his name is like completely new but I guess he's here in the chat room Juan Eduardo Mendez Arias uh, sent um, an email an update that actually had links off to photojojo.com which is an awesome website especially for digital photography enthusiasts and one of these links uh, he was talking uh, on Amit was talking, that's the guy from photojojo.com, was talking about this web service, a new web service that I've got, I've got pulled up here on my web browser here called Pixel Pipe. That's one word, Pixel Pipe. And what this service does is acts as a sneezer for your digital photos. So you go to pixelpipe.com, you create a login, and then you add your pipes and consider any destination that could take photo or video as, or potentially even text, as a, a pipe. So their default list uh, includes places like Bebo, Flickr, Acrobat.com, Facebook, Friendster, Box.net, Image Shack, uh, Photo Bucket, Shutterfly, Picasa, Kite, iMeme, FriendFeed, uh, the list, like I said, kind of goes on and on and on. In fact, today, I didn't even realize it, but I had this many accounts uh, for at least photo and, and potentially video uh, services. 37 destinations I have added to uh, my account uh, through pixelpipe.com. So I can take a picture, I can upload that picture to Pixelpipe either using their desktop client, and they've got different versions available for Mac, uh, for Windows, and for Linux. Uh, I could upload it by email, uh, or I could. they've got an iPhone client, which I'm going to use here uh, right about now. Uh, and just to kind of demonstrate uh, kind of what's going on. So I'm going to take a picture here with my iPhone of the screen that's sitting in front of me. I have the chat room pulled up, so hopefully it's uh, going to work. Okay, so now I've taken this picture. Uh, I'm going to move into, you can hear Wicket running in the background here. I'm going to go to the application on the iPhone. And I've, got, I've got so many pages of apps. Pixel Pipe, there we go. So it gives me the list of photos that it has here on the iPhone. I'm going to edit uh, the, uh, the title of this uh, particular photo and call it Chat Room Fun. And I can give it a caption too. So I'm going to type in HTTP colon slash slash geeks dot Perillo. Trust me, this will be really cool when we're done. <laughs> dot and then I can give it a list of keywords. You can also set default keywords. Uh, it will upload now when I'm done. I hit save. I'm just going to keep the keywords blank because I already have a, a default set. Uh, I can upload all, but I'm not going to do that because I have photos on here that I really don't want to upload because they're junky. I haven't had a chance to edit them. So I'm going to press chat room fun and upload one photo. Now, in a matter of seconds, that original image is going to be pushed out to Pixel Pipe, and then from there, pushed out to Friend Feed, Flickr, I mean, Photo Bucket, Friendster, Picasa, Pounce, Seismic. No, Seismic's just video. Uh, Fought Key, uh, it's going to get posted to geeks.perillo.com as well. Uh, Buzznet, Adobe Share, Zoomer, TwitPic, 23, Photo Time, 72 Photos, iPernity, Kodak, Image Shack, Shutterfly, Fanfare, Kite. I think 
yeah, Kite Will Do Images, webshotsbox.net, potentially uh, one of my blogger blogs, my live journal, my Tumblr, my WordPress.com blog, my Vox blog, uh, my personal email address, image loop potentially if it's not broken. Uh, it was broken earlier, but they're working on fixing it. Uh, Facebook, and then uh, directly to my blog at chris.perillo.com if I configured it correctly. So it took <laughs> took me longer to tell you where it was going than I'm sure where it's actually um, the the process by which it was sneezed out. So now I go up to my recent uploads and look at that. Actually, uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, this is the live screen grab that I took from the iPhone. And you should now be able to see it as I scroll down. It says, hey, an email was successfully sent. It's on iMeme. It's on Friendster, Picasa, Vox. And they give you the link so you can go there. Fanfare, Photobucket, Shutterfly, Image Shack, Friend Feed, Adobe Share, Ipernity, Box.net, TwitPick. And by the way, when it gets posted to TwitPick, it gets sneezed out to my uh, Twitter followers. 23, Kite, Flickr. There's a few that are still in the process of either uploading or there's no direct link to them. Flickr, uh, Fotkey, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know where all it's, it's gone specifically, but let me... Uh, do this. I'm going to open these links up in the background, let them load, just to show you that on each one of these sites, indeed, the same image has been sneezed, assuming they work. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, one, one link directly to the image there. Uh, so, oh, yep, there's the image. It got downloaded here to my desktop. Uh, there it is here. Oh, okay, so there it is on my iMeme page. There it is in, in Friendster. There's Picasa, Vox, uh, Fanfare, kind of look mislink. Photo bucket now, Shutterfly, Image Shack. Ah, Friend Feed, look at that, right there on Friend Feed. It got posted directly to it. Uh, there's Adobe, it's still kind of loading there. Ipernity, uh, and I, I've never heard of that website before. Uh, TwitPick, now the neat thing about TwitPick is that it got sneezed out to my Twitter followers, so if you responded to Twitter, it would, sh it, you know, to this particular message, it would show up in the comment thread, it's kind of neat. Uh, there it is on 23, Kite TV. Flickr, of course, it's just an amazing service for uploading a photo to as many places as you could possibly get it to that might support uh, the image uploading uh, process or, or features. Now, I also tried to connect it to my blog. I don't know if it made it. No, it did not. I may have to configure a couple of other things uh, with that, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't work perfectly every single time, but it works well enough that you know I'm able to get the photo out uh, you know, easier than I could... Uh, before uh, I was uh, aware of this service. So yes, Juan, uh, thank you so much uh, for letting me know of, of this particular service. Again, pixelpipe.com. There it is. There's my tweet. It just went out there. You can go on there and see. It, it's just awesome because, I mean, it's just an image, right? And that's all it is. But you want your friends, no matter where they're following you, to see it, just like your status. You don't want to just have friends on Facebook. There are some people who are going to be there, but they're not going to be on MySpace, and vice versa. Or maybe there are going to be people who are going to follow you on Twitter, but not necessarily. On, I mean, you have to be everywhere. And when you have things like digital photos, I mean, uploading to more than one spot is just kind of a pain in the neck. So it's much easier to use one service in particular, and it's still a little buggy, a little rough around the edges, I would say. I've been sending as much feedback as I possibly could, uh, at least to, I believe, one of the founders, if not the founder of uh, of Pixel Pipe. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, you know, for free, it's certainly doing a better job uh, than I've seen any other service uh, like it do. Uh, before this, I was using uh, Shozu, which works well, but it, you need a client and it's kind of clunky and it doesn't do everything. It's not as easy to manage, in my opinion. So uh, hopefully I'm going to continue to uh, add more photo services here through there, or yeah, through pixelpipe.com, and hopefully they will continue to work on the bugs and maybe even help me figure out why certain things aren't working, if it's just my problem uh, or it's something that's systemic. So uh, there you go. It looks like chat got moderated and then unmoderated and then moderated again in the course of me doing this presentation. So hopefully everything will work fine in chat no matter what. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Please don't email me photos. Uh, upload them to the web. And uh, now you know there are plenty of places to do it. <clears throat> hint, hint. Now you can also join us at our website where we have a community of folks at geeks.perillo.com. In fact, I'm going to go over there right now. And this is where you can go to upload your own photos. You can obviously, you can connect uh, uh, Pixel Pipe to your Geeks account. You can, you've got an email address with geeks.perillo.com that you can send media to. 
right here. Uh, chat room fun on Geeks got posted. It's already got 11 views, and look at that. Uh, I've already got four comments. That was fast. That was indeed a cool tool. Just watched you on the feed. Good, fine, dude. Boost one, Chris. Boost one. Oh, someone's fingers were off a home row. When your fingers are off a home row, instead of typing in nice, you type in boost. Have you ever seen that? It's so boost. Uh, and then, uh, anyway, so I already got comments there on geeks.perilla.com for the photo that I took during this live broadcast. Oh, so much fun. So join us over there. And you're also welcome to join us in the chat room. Uh, we're typically talking tech. We love sharing uh, services that we discover. And it's okay to let me know, no matter how you need to let me know. I do prefer personal email, though. Uh, I tend not to check uh, emails from uh, networks. I, I was kind of lucky that I, I saw this one. I'm very grateful that I did. Uh, so anyway, if you want to join us in the chat room, uh, we've got it like sewn into the live video feed, which is, well, it can be available anywhere because you can embed it anywhere, but we primarily gather at one place and that's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.